If x y cubed is equal to 8, what is the cube root of x times y? So notice they're not asking you for x equals or y equals. So try not to worry too much about finding what these individual variables are equal to. We want to keep everything kind of together. What we're really trying to do is we're trying to see how x y to the third power relates to the cube root of x times y. I'm going to rewrite this in terms of a fractional exponent. So we have x to the 1 third power times y. And if you take a look, what we're really doing, and I'm going to put an imaginary 1 there, an imaginary 1 there, we're comparing x to the 1 power with x to the 1 third power. And how do we get from x to the 1 to x to the 3rd? Well, if we were to raise this to the 1 third power, we would get that, right? Similarly, when we compare x, or I'm sorry, y to the third, to y to the one power, if we raise this up to the one third power, we get that. Which means to say that if we have x, y cubed, and raise that to the one third power, we would get the cube root of x times y. Well, they give us the value of x, y cubed, which is 8. And if we raise that to the 1 third power, we get 2. Therefore, the cube root of x times y should equal 2. Again, notice how I didn't worry too much about solving for x and y separately. And in fact, that's going to make everything a lot more complicated. What you want to do is you want to keep everything that they give you together and simply find relationships between this x, this x to the one-third, also this y cubed with this y to the one power.